I'm John Skinner and this supports chapter 2 of my book Striper Pursuit and this video deals with choosing a spinning reel and in particular differentiating among the different models of pen spinning reels. Okay so um, and you know I'm talking about pen here but the things I'm going to bring up are really considerations when you purchase a reel in general uh, certain things you should think about and one of them is uh, as I look at these five pens and this is a Battle, an SSV, a Conflict 2, a Clash, and a Slammer 3. Um, the, one of the first things I think about when choosing the reel is, do I have to worry about saltwater intrusion? Is the reel going to be dunked? Is it going to have waves washing over it? Is it going to be on the side of the boat where it's just catching a lot of spray all the time? If I have to worry about saltwater get, getting into the reel, then that's going to narrow my choice down. And in this case, it's going to bring it down to these two, the SSV and the Slammer 3. Both of these reels do an excellent job of keeping water out. Um, now, you know what? You can go on the pen website and look at the different specs between the reels. If you talk to a pen representative, they're, they're going to give you all the nitty-gritty details. And I'm not going to go down to that level. What I'm going to do is just tell you from my experience um, what I've had. And also, you know, what makes me choose one over the other. So, all right, if I have to worry about saltwater intrusion, I'm looking at these two. And I can tell you that both of these um, I've used a lot where they're getting uh, waves over or accidentally they're getting dunked. And uh, they've done an excellent job of keeping the water out. So, how do you compare these two? Well, the SSV versus the Slammer 3 is quite a difference in price. And I'll rattle off some retail prices, but... Um, a lot of times you can find sales and get them a little less than that. Uh, so the SSVs, like this one's $140 for a 4500 Now the Slammer 3 is 250 for the same size reel. Well, what's the difference? Why is there such a difference in price? One of the big differences, and this is something I notice in the performance, in the smoothness, is this one has... Um, machine gears. So the Slammer 3 is machine gears, this is die cast gears. You know what? This for the money is a superb reel. Um, and if you can spend a little extra, well, you know, this is an even better reel. So that's one of the first things I'm looking at is um, salt water. Now in general, another thing that you should be looking at for reels, especially if you're concerned about uh, let's say high speed retrieves, you should be looking at gear ratios. And what a gear ratio means is for every time I turn this reel handle, you know, there's one turn. Here we go. Let's do another one. Okay, one turn. How many times did the rotor go around? Um, in the case of these pens, they're all the same. The gear ratio is 6.2 to 1. So this is going to impact your speed. The next thing that impacts your speed is the spool diameter. Now, as it works out, um, these four all have exactly, uh, from my measurement, the same diameter spool. The Pen Slammer 3 is slightly larger. So for every turn of the handle, you're going to get, uh, actually the specs say this will get 40 inches per turn. That's a spec that you should be looking at on reels. One turn of this, hand, one turn of this handle all the way around, uh, the specs say it's going to grab 40 inches of line. This Pen Clash one turn of the handle, because the spool is a little bit smaller, you're going to get 37 inches of line. And all of these are roughly 36, 37, except for this one being 40, only because this uh, spool diameter is slightly larger. So that's something that you should be considering. All right, so we've talked about saltwater uh, intrusion versus not having to worry about it. And a lot of people might think, well, I always have to worry about saltwater intrusion. Well, I can tell you from my experience, um, you know, I do a lot of fishing on the Long Island Sound beaches, all the false albacore casting I do in the fall, um, the bay fishing that I do. I really don't worry about the saltwater intrusion. So it's not, um, you know, it's not a big deal. It's not a consideration. And if I don't have to worry about it, well, that's going to give me some other real options. So t let's take a look at those. So this is a pen battle. And the one that they sell nowadays is a pen battle too. I can tell you this is a really decent reel. I've used this for a lot of applications out in the kayak. I had a great trip to the Florida Keys with this, catching Barracuda on the flats. Um, and it's price, uh, $110 for this 4000 And that's the Battle II. It's an upgraded model of that. So, you know what? If you don't have to worry about getting water inside, um, 
boy, it, it's a great reel for that price. Now, as you start going up the line, this pen conflict, this is interesting. This is a, a conflict too, actually. And an upgrade from the regular conflict is that this now has machined gears, much like the Slammer 3 and, and the Clash. So this is die cast and die cast. These three all have machined gears. You will feel that, especially after some use, you will feel that in the cranking. Much, much smoother. Or let's not say much smoother. It's noticeably smoother. It makes a difference. Um, so that's something to consider. The other thing is weight. Now, if we look at the weight of this, this one here comes in at 15.4 ounces. It's the heaviest of all of these. On the other end of the spectrum is this one, this Conflict 2. Um, one of the neat features about this is uh, this is apparently the, the body is, is carbon. This is what I've been told. I can tell you that this reel weighs nothing. This thing weighs 9.5 ounces. So that's a so it's six ounce difference just about between this one and that one. And you know what? You're going to feel that difference. Uh, if you do a lot of casting, you're going to feel it. So, yeah, so, you know, weight, that's definitely a consideration. If we look at the Conflict 2 and then go up to the Clash, actually, there's not much of a difference in price here. Um, the retail price on a Conflict 2, I have to think about this and actually look at it, it's $170 versus $200. It's a $30 difference. Uh, I can tell you I've got a lot of experience with this Clash. It's my false albacore reel. I've used this a lot. And you know what? It gets splashed a lot. Some days when I'm casting for Albies, it's kind of rough. It's getting splashed. That's fine. It can handle the splashing. What you don't want to be doing is dunking it and getting water inside the gear case. And I can tell you, if you get water inside the gear case and you let it sit and you don't get it out of there, it's going to, in my experience, it's going to freeze up on you. So, um... You know, you want to just pick the reel for the application. But, again, I've used this a lot, and it hasn't been a problem um, unless you let water sit inside. So, yeah, I think that covers uh, a lot of the things you have to think about. And, again, it's not just for pens. It's for any reel, any time you're choosing a reel. Think about, um, do you have to be concerned with saltwater intrusion? Um, you know, if you can afford to go a little, uh, spend a little more, and you can have machine gears versus die cast gears, it's very important. And also think about the weight of the reel. That's uh, going to be a big difference. If you've got a six ounce difference in, in the weight of the reel and you're casting for hours and hours, you're going to feel that. So I hope that um, helps you make somewhat of a better choice when you're buying uh, a fishing reel. And certainly if you're trying to decide among these pen models. All right, thanks for watching.